Good afternoon, everybody. I want to welcome those in the worship center today and those who are joining us online to this very special service. This is First United Methodist Church in downtown Lake Charles, and I'm Weldon Barres, the senior pastor here at the church, and we're so delighted to have you joining us today. Our service today is to praise God and to say special prayers for the school system and teachers and school workers and parents and all of those involved in education. This is a very important time in our community and in our lives and this time of worship is to pray for them and to praise God. So glad that you are joining us in worship this afternoon. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you for your goodness in our lives. This day we especially pray for children and for school workers and for parents for grandparents. In this time, Lord, I pray that you will give strength and courage and peace to each one and help us in this time of worship to lift up our hearts as we worship you. Hear our prayer in Christ's name. Amen. We're going to begin tonight with greater Bring your tired, bring your shame, bring your guilt, bring your pain. Don't you know that's not your name? You will always be much more to me. Every day I wrestle with the voices that keep telling me I'm not right. That's all right, cause I hear a voice and he calls me redeemed.
We're going to continue on with trust in you, and we're going to have Michelle lead us tonight. Letting go of every single dream. I lay each one down at your feet. Every moment of my wandering never changes what you see. I've tried to end this war, I confess. My hands are with me, I need your rest. Mighty warrior, king of the fire. No matter what I face, you're by my side. When you don't move the mountain, I need you to move. When you don't walk the waters, I wish I could walk through. When you don't give the answers, as I cry out to you. I will trust, I will trust, I will trust in you. praise service for teachers and all school administrators, I want to take a moment to introduce myself. I'm Katie Black, and I'm the associate pastor here. I want to take a moment to lead us in a litany for educators, and this is a litany from Psalm 23, so the responses you'll see are, are, should be pretty familiar. Holy God, guide your servants as they embark on a new year, one full of unknowns and anxieties. You are in control and we trust your mighty hand and outstretched arm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Grant your peace to every teacher, administrator, and staff member at school, that they may have clear minds, rested and ready to pass on knowledge and wisdom. Be their shelter and their refuge. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. Fill these educators and staff with wisdom and grace as they navigate through ever-changing circumstances. May they feel your presence and be comforted and encouraged by your spirit. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. As we face challenges we cannot fully know, as we enter into a new year with illness and division and evil lurking behind every corner, 
reassure us that we are not alone and you are always by our side. Yea, though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. We know that because we are imperfect people in an imperfect world, we will make mistakes and missteps. Anoint your servants with grace and mercy when things aren't going as planned, when patience runs out, when tempers run short, when frustration gets the better of us, anoint our heads and fill our cups to start again with your mercies anew. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Help us to know that the battle is yours, almighty God, and has it already been won. Move our hands and our feet to your service. Guide us and protect us, and shed your blessings upon your servants and the young minds in which they've been entrusted to mold. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. We're going to continue on with the blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you. Be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face toward Children, their children, their 
We're gonna move on with Eye of the Storm, led by Dina. In the eye of the storm, you remain in control. In the middle of the war, you guard my soul. You alone are the anchor when my sails are torn. Your love surrounds me in the eye of the storm. When the solid ground is falling out, from underneath my feet Between the black skies and my red eyes I can barely see When I realize I've been sold out By my friends and my family And I can feel the rain reminding me In the eye of the storm You were in control In the middle of the war You got my ask your blessings over those who you have called to build up, to educate. Lord, pour out your grace and your truth upon every teacher, every administrator, every staff member, every bus driver, every custodian, every cafeteria worker, to everyone who you have called for such a time as this. Whether it's teaching in a classroom or through a screen or both at the same time, Lift them up and hold them in the palm of your hand. We lift up the students that will come across our paths. We pray for wisdom for each parent because we know the collaboration between home and school will be more challenging and more vital than ever. May your servants feel you. May they know that you are there with them in their classrooms, in the hallways, in the offices. 
in a time of high anxiety where the plans change every five seconds. Remind us of your unchanging love and your everlasting mercy. I know sometimes I want more than anything for things to just go back to normal, but that's not where we are. So Lord, I ask for your guidance through the uncertainty. And we know it's our faith that sometimes in these moments of struggle, like your servant Jacob in the book of Genesis, wrestling through the night, that it's through his struggle that he receives a new name and a blessing. He walks away with an injured hip, but a new identity. No one wanted this situation that we found ourselves in, Lord, but your servants are here. Equip them to face this head on. Equip them with the fruit of your spirit, with love and joy and peace. Give them patience and kindness and gentleness. Empower them with the fruit of faithfulness and generosity and self-control. This is a year like none other. And with that comes new challenges and fears and obstacles. But you, O oh Lord, are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You are Almighty Counselor. You are the Everlasting God. Help us to give this uncertainty over to you. Help us to lay our anxieties down at your feet. May your servants be blessed with new opportunities in the face of adversity. This day, tomorrow, and forevermore. We ask all of these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Katie. We're going to continue on now with oceans. You call me out upon the walls, the great unknown, where feet may fail. And there I find you in the mystery, in oceans deep.
I want to thank everyone that came tonight and everyone that's watching with us online. This is for you. This is for you teachers, administrators, and students, and everyone else involved in going back to school. I hope that this event lifted you up in prayer and that you feel even a little bit recharged to start this new year. We're going to finish tonight with Your Grace is Enough. Faithfulness, O oh God, you wrestle with the sinner's restless heart. You lead us by still waters into mercy, and nothing can keep us apart. So remember. You did a great, great job this afternoon. Thank you very much, and thank you for joining us for this time of worship this afternoon. As we close today, I just want to say that we believe in education, and we believe in our schools. We believe in our teachers and school administrators and all of those who work in the school system, and we believe in our kids. We believe in the students, and it's our prayer that God will bless this new school year in a very special way. Go in peace. May God's blessings be upon you. Amen.